Hey y'all. Today, I'm diving into one of the most profound chapters in the book of Revelation, chapter seven. This chapter unfolds a vision that's both awe-inspiring and comforting. So grab your Bible and let's get started. First off, imagine this scene, four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the winds so that not even a leaf rustles in the trees and the ocean is as smooth as glass. It's a moment of divine stillness. But then, another angel appears from the east, carrying the great seal of the living God. This angel commands the four others, wait, don't harm the earth or the sea or the trees until we have placed the seal of God upon the foreheads of his servants. So how many are sealed? The number is 144,000, representing all 12 tribes of Israel. Here's the breakdown. Judah, 12,000 Reuben, 12,000 Gad, 12,000 Asher, 12,000 Naphtali, 12,000 Manasseh, 12,000 Simeon, 12,000 Levi, 12,000 Issachar, 12,000 Zebulun, 12,000 Joseph, 12,000 Benjamin, 12,000 pretty specific, right? But the vision doesn't stop there. Next, John sees a vast crowd, too great to count, from all nations, provinces, and languages, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white with palm branches in their hands. They're shouting with a mighty voice, salvation comes from our God upon the throne and from the Lamb. What a powerful image of unity and worship. And if that wasn't enough, all the angels around the throne, the elders and the four living beings fall face down before the throne, worshiping God. They proclaim, amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the 24 elders asks John, Do you know who these are who are clothed in white and where they come from? John replies, No, sir, please tell me. The elder explains, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They washed their robes and whitened them by the blood of the Lamb. Because of this, they are before the throne of God, serving him day and night in his temple. The one sitting on the throne will shelter them. They will never be hungry or thirsty again, and they'll be protected from the scorching heat. The lamb will feed them, be their shepherd, and lead them to the springs of the water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Revelation chapter seven is a powerful reminder of God's protection and the promise of salvation. It's about being sealed by God, enduring through tribulations, and ultimately standing before his throne in eternal worship. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more Bible insights. Until next time, keep seeking and keep believing.